Hey Cougars, welcome back to another Good News Network. How are you doing today, Noah? Doing pretty good, Kai. Coming up, we've got some student interviews, teacher shout outs, movie tips, and a trivia question for a chance to win a gift card. Ooh, that sounds so exciting. I like to get money, Noah. Do you? I, I mean, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, me too. That's why you all should join the trivia and um, try to do it. Also, um, let's go on to the joke of the day today. Are you ready? No. Noah, what do you call a French man wearing flip-flops? Philip Philop. Why do you do this every time? All right, thank you. Anyways, let's get back into this week's content. We're super excited to share the Good News Network with you guys. Now on to Kehlani. Kehlani has brought a student here from the high school who has been a major local activist, creating fundraisers and even painting mural. Let's see what we got in stock. Kehlani, you want to take it off? Hey Cougars, this week's student Cougar shout out goes to Coraline Taylor. She has been a huge activist in our community and has done many things, including painting murals and starting fundraisers. To kick things off today, how are you doing, Coraline? I'm good. What about you? I'm doing good, too. I think that your work with the murals has been super cool. And do you want to talk a little about that? Like, who is the group you worked with and what exactly did you guys do? Yeah, thank you. So um, I worked with a group called Artivate, and it's a group of um, Bay Area artists, and they came together to put on a program for high school artists in the Bay Area. And basically just to um, paint murals and public art to kind of get awareness out about things going on in um, public art ways. Yeah. That's super cool. That's yeah, so what was, um, did you like have anything that you like took away from this experience? Yeah, so um, we designed the murals ourselves and um, something we really tried to put into it was kind of like bright colors and to make it more like a happy mural because I was working on Black Lives Matter mural and that can be kind of a dark subject. And so, um, I think it's important to um, bring lighter aspects into it to like um, brighten people's day when they're walking by it. And I think I took away from this that um, small things can really like help people's day, um, like murals and public art. That's awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, I also know that you started a fundraiser for uh, the Black Lives Matter movement by creating and selling sweatshirts, which I have one right here. Do you wanna um, talk a little bit about that? Like, how did you come up with that idea? Yeah, so I really wanted to um, contribute to the Black Lives Matter movement. And um, so I wanted to donate in some way, but I couldn't donate my own money. So I came up with the idea of selling something and I, um, came up with, I decided to block print. Um, so I made block prints and then printed them on these sweatshirts and sold them. And all the profits go to Black Lives Matter organizations. And I'm still selling them. So um, you can go to my Instagram, which is at printed protest. And the link in the bio is where you can um, buy them. Yes. Yes, please do that um, help support a good cause. And um, lastly, what would you recommend to other teenagers who also want to make a difference in our community? I think um, for people that want to make a difference is um, it doesn't necessarily have to be something big. It can be something small, like um, spreading awareness in your family and your friends and then kind of work up on that and you can um, eventually get to bigger things if you want to. But um, I think that it's important to remember that all the small things you do, do matter and that it can make a big impact still. Thank you so much, Coraline, for all that you do and um, have a great week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
This week's teacher shout out goes to Mr. Choi because he has helped me and I'm sure a lot of other students with his office hours after school and you know, Mr. Choi, appreciate it and you deserve it. Missing in person school, here are five classic high school movies to cheer you up. Hope you guys have fun watching. Wow, that's really some great work. We're so proud of all the activism and the work you've done. Ha, huh, Noah? Yeah, that's some incredible stuff, Corlin. Speaking of incredible, a recent marine discovery has possibly claimed the physically longest living organism at 150 feet in length. This creature in question is called a siphonophore, a relative to jellyfish and coral. It is a colonial creature made up of clonal organisms. In other words, it's like a long string of jellyfish that are chained together. Wow, that's super cool, Noah. Let's also um, get into some local news, uh, more specifically our school. Um, we are on track to start back up the high school sports. Um, so after a year full of doubt for most of you Cougar athletes, it's starting to look good again, and that's really exciting. Also, Half Moon Bay has a new recycling center uh, located in Strawflower Shopping Center. And this is big. It's going to help our community be a lot more eco-friendly. And the last thing on the local news today is uh, the San Mateo County has, uh, they're making a program that's partnering mental health professionals with law enforcement. And this is going to do a great job at keeping everybody healthier and happier and safer. How does that make you feel, Noah? Yeah, I think I feel pretty good about that. I definitely think that it's a good idea to help uh, get the professionals in both fields to work together to help sort of reach every possible um, outcome and whatnot. Uh, so now with uh, now that we're done with news, I think it's about time to move on to leadership announcements and trivia at the end. Yeah, what do you think about that guy? Yeah, that sounds great. Let's um, hand the microphone over to Emily. And here's more information from the special events committee about their contest. The Leadership Special Events Committee is starting a contest right now. It is a gift card giveaway through the at Half Moon Bay Leadership Instagram account. We will be giving away one $25 gift card of your choice to three different people. To be entered in this contest, make sure you go follow h &B Leadership on Instagram. Go like their latest posts about this contest, and in the comments, go tag a friend that goes to h &B High School. Be sure to enter this contest because we'll be using the at HMP Leadership Instagram for more contests in the coming months. Enter this contest before Friday, February 12th, and we will announce the winner shortly after. Reminder, we are having a views photo contest right now. Please send images to 70300 at cabrillo.k12.ca.us by Friday, February 19th. Voting will take place through Instagram polls on the at HMB leadership page the week of February 22nd. Hey Cougars, this week's trivia questions topic is politics. Which president had the longest inaugural speech that lasted over two hours and was over 8,000 words? <laughs> 